Good evening. Um, I just, as I said earlier, um, I'm a lifelong resident of this town. I was born and raised here. Been married to my wife, Tina, for 17 years. We have three boys that we're bringing up in this community. Uh, this town is important to me, uh, and the youth were very important to me. Uh, that's one of the main stands that I'm running on. Um, we have a rec league. Well, we don't have a rec league. We've got a, a Lions Club that was mentioned earlier. We've got 97 kids playing football. I'm not sure how many cheerleaders are participating, but it's quite a few. Um, come Saturday, that season's over with, and these youth have nothing to do after that. We've got to get a rec department in here, um, but there's also kids out there that don't play sports. We've got to have something available for them. Um, a lot of kids aren't interested in playing sports, but we have to have some kind of program set aside for them to enjoy and to have a safe place and a safe environment to uh, grow up in. Another thing we talked about, um, attracting businesses. Um, if you ride downtown, as Alan said, you look at the, the vacant lots, but they're unattractive. Um, we've got to clean those places up. You know, there's businesses downtown. You can tell they take pride in 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 what they in their business. But the vacant lot beside them, you know, is falling in. We've got businesses boarded up. Um, we've got to clean that up to attract business. Nobody wants to come down here and and see that or invest in a bus or a building that's falling in. And lastly, um, we've got to have some transparency here. Um, the, the community needs to know what's going on with this board and we need to know what the interests are of the community. We've got to get more openness um, to see what they want and, they, and the community, you need to know what we're deciding on. I thank you for your support and I look forward to uh, serving on this commission and I appreciate your vote November 3rd. Thank you.